Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the Gospel of St. Matthew. Matthew chapter 9, verse 37 and 38, and I will read it. It says, Then he, that is Jesus, then he said to his disciples, The harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Don't you know that the leaders have the ability to see not only far and deep, but wide and broad. And great leaders have great vision. And Jesus had a vision that was beyond the multitude that was in front of him. For he had been going around preaching and teaching the kingdom of, of heaven. And the multitude was wandering around. And he noticed how weary and lost they appeared. And he said to his disciples that truly the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few, and the harvest that he saw was beyond those that was right there. He saw the harvest and the need for the souls of men, all and women, children all over the world to be saved. And the harvest, notice that this harvest belongs to the Lord, for he is the Lord of the harvest. It belongs to God, for every soul belongs to the Lord. And not anybody can go out and reap. Or not anyone can go out and work in the harvest. It has to be those that are called by God because it is his harvest, the harvest of mankind. And we are to pray to the Lord of the harvest that he would send out his. Pray. And don't you know, if you listen, that you might be the answer to the prayer that you lift up before God. You may be the very one that God would use to be the laborer in his vineyard. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you today, and that yes, you would be a laborer for the Lord, that as you go, uh, whether you're at, at work or whether you're at play, whether you're at school or whether you, you're at the service station or whether you're out shopping, that you would be involved in laboring for the Lord to direct someone, to guide someone, to lead someone to Christ through the preaching, the teaching of the gospel. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would have a safe day as you go throughout your day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.